Well, happy Saturday, folks. It's The Real Captain Kirk here. We're live from one Bethlehem Plaza here in downtown Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. The good news with an earlier Thanksgiving, you also have a lot longer shopping season until Christmas. We've got 29 days, 14-some hours until Christmas. So again, a little, a little more shopping time with these early Thanksgivings. Looking at Black Friday, again, it's been a warm November here nationally. But again, good news is the cold came just in time over the Thanksgiving weekend here. So Black Friday, always kind of a critical period for retail seasonal sales here. Last year, warmest in five years. So look at all that warm weather uh, versus the in the east and the central plains. And then this year, uh, polar opposite, kind of cold almost everywhere. A few pockets of warm, but pretty much coldest in 10 years here for this Black Friday. So a lot of folks out there probably getting some cold weather gear for sure. The good news is more of us are healthy this year as well. Uh, flu trends were down about 40% in terms of sick people versus last year. That red line starting to ramp up here, but uh, Probably going to be more of a domey type season. It'll peak uh, late December, January, probably, and then just a slow decline uh, as we get into March. Um, map bottom right just shows all those purples and reds were widespread flu activity, and this year it's really just limited to the southeast, uh, still not much across the northern tier of the U.S. If we look at last week here, week ending here today, here the 25th of November, here in the U.S., about 1.6, warmer than last year. So a warm week, even though it got cold here toward the critical Thanksgiving, Black Friday period, shopping season, uh, but still warmest in three years for the week. 17th, warmest in 38, above average. Wetter, 52% wetter than a year ago. Wettest in three, 16th wettest, so above average there. And snowfall also up 216% more than last year. Uh, big system moving out of the Rockies and the Plains, and most in four years, 19th snowies in 38 years. So not bad. Canada, just a little bit cooler, but still well above average. Uh, China, cooler than last year, but again, cooler from the number one hottest last year. Uh, so we're all kind of warmer trends uh, on a national scale. If we look at the season to date snowfall here in the U.S., uh, again, we're down about 46% versus last year, 35% below average and ninth least in 38 years. So it looks like a lot. And, and you know, it is maybe those very high elevations of the Rockies, not much in the Sierra. They've got some, but uh, nowhere near what they had last year. And uh, even some up there in Maine. So again, the New England's had some snow, but uh, not much down here, obviously, at the uh, 360s headquarters here in Bethlehem. So we're still waiting this week, uh, again, again, a little bit cooler week, so 0 0.5 cooler than a year ago, cools in three, 19th warmer, so uh, just a hair below average nationally. Uh, snowfall down about 37%, uh, eighth least in 38 years. Not a ton of snow out there, except uh, right around the Great Lakes. The good news is the system coming out of the Midwest uh, will kick in some of the Great Lake, uh, all the lakes actually, um, getting a, a foot plus uh, downwind. Uh, precip down about 35%, uh, 16th rise in 38 years, so below average there. We look at the six-day snowfall trends here. Again, system moving out of the Rockies into the Plains, kind of fizzles a bit as it goes into the Great Lakes, but then the lake effect snows begin to kick in here Monday, Tuesday, even heavier. Wednesday starting to wane a bit, and then Thursday next week, again, not a ton. So six-day total here overall is a little bit more than last year, most in four years, but still 15th least in 38 years, 34% below average for this Six-day period, again, 33% of the country is getting some snow here the next six days. And if we look at this first full week of uh, December through the 9th of December here, um, a little bit warmer, 0 0.9 warmer than last year, warmest in eight years, six warmest in 38 years, so above average, almost the entire country with above average temperatures. Uh, map inset left there is just the temperature trends versus last year, so much, much colder across the Gulf Coast. Rainfall, again, up about 30%, so 16th wettest. So, again, a stormy track across the parched areas, uh, drought areas from Texas to the Gulf Coast. So, again, heavy rain there. Again, not a ton of snow. In fact, 85% uh, less than last year, make it the number one least. We'll see. Maybe a, a, a bit underdone here, but uh, we'll see about that. And if we aggregate all these trends, the world two-week outlook here through the 9th of December here, again, uh, warm is the theme for North America as it turns cold, uh, polar vortex heading toward Europe. So Europe looks to be quite cold and maybe Northeast China, uh, the rest of the world pretty warm. Adding a lot of snowpack, again, all that green precip map inset left there is, uh, is snow this time of year across Siberia. So heavy snowpack this time of year, fall in Siberia, uh, just allows a lot of cold air to build. And so we have to look out for that as we get into latter half of December, January, February, into March here in North America. If we just look at these uh, two-week uh, world snowfall outlook trends here, again, it's just high-level model guidance, but it suggests that maybe eastern Canada is a snowy spot, uh, maybe far western, uh, eastern Europe, actually, and uh, western Russia and parts of Siberia, central Siberia. So not a ton, but again, uh, some snowy spots out there. We'll end here with our Longwood Gardens Christmas tour, and we'd like to go down there every year. If you haven't been there, it's a great spot to add to your bucket list. It's uh, gorgeous inside and outside. With that, folks, we'll end here, and uh, have a great week.
Thank mm-hmm. you.